Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hello, welcome. My name is Megan. I make videos and sometimes they're good. As you can tell from the title of this video, we are decluttering my palettes. So I've got a lot of these and this is going to be a long video so make sure you get yourself a snack. But before you get yourself a snack, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And let's get into this massive palette declutter. Alright you guys, so I clearly have a lot of palettes like You've seen an overview of them in my makeup collection video. If you didn't see that video, I will link it down below for you to go check out. But I've got around 85 palettes, including my face palettes. Today we're gonna do go through them all. We're gonna see what I'm gonna keep. We're gonna see what I get rid of or give to friends. Um, I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot that I get rid of, but there will be some. So let's get into it. The first four palettes that I have are the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. The This is something I'm obviously going to keep. Jaclyn Hill is one of my favorite YouTubers, so keeping that, of course. Next up, I have a Morphe and Kathleen Lights collab. This is what it looks like. This is a palette that was like... I feel like nobody talked about it when it happened. It was such a low-key launch. Like, nobody really said anything about it but this green in here is really gorgeous and I want to use that in a look so I'm going to keep this. I have the classic Morphe 350 palette. This is a palette that has been beloved for so long and it's gotten a lot of use by me and it's going to continue to get a lot of use by me so keeping that. I'm most likely going to keep all of my Morphe palettes because I really love them. Um, next I have the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the original packaging it actually came in. Um, and this is what it looks like. Obviously keeping that. I have the Dare to Create palette from Morphe right here. And I also have the Morphe X James Charles palette. Now I don't really watch his videos very much, but this palette is amazing. I used it on my eyes today. Those are basically my Morphe palettes right there, and then um, I'm gonna so I'm gonna keep all of those. What I'm also gonna keep all of are my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I have a lot of these, and I'm gonna quickly go through them. I'm gonna keep them all. I collect these ones. I actually collect a lot of palettes, but yeah, I mean obviously I collect a lot of palettes. This is the Mario. Um, the, uh, the Master Palette by Mario. This is Ke um, Kim Kardashian's Makeup Artist collab. I have Riviera, which is this one right here. Super pretty. I really want to get the Alyssa Edwards palettes. I don't have that. And I think they just announced the Jackie Ina palette today on Jackie's um, uh, YouTube. So I'm going to get that one as well. This is the Sultry palette. This one is a great one for every day, I think. I have the much talked about subculture palette right here. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are all Anastasia, but this is the Prism palette. Now this one hasn't been used like pretty much at all, but I'm gonna keep it just for my collection reasons. I have the Norvina palette right here. I have the Modern Renaissance. This one is a personal favorite of mine. Clearly I've hit pan in a lot of them. And I have the Soft Glam palette, which is this one right here. The next series that I have four of is my Too Faced chocolate bars. So I've got the Semi Sweet, the Original Chocolate Bar. I have the Bon Bonds palette and the Peach palette. The Peach palette. Right here, we've got the Bon Bon palette right here. They all smell wonderful, so that's good to know. This is the chocolate bar palette, probably the most used of all the chocolate bars for me. And then this is the semi-sweet palette. Next, I have this palette here from Lorac. This is the Lorac Pro 3. This was a holiday limited edition, and I'm gonna keep it. I actually haven't used it in a long time, but I'm gonna keep it just because it was limited edition, and I like having lim limited edition products in my collection. 
I also have the Carly Bible palette which looks like this. I might see if a friend wants to, it wants this one as well as this one right here. This is the um, deluxe edition of the Carly Bible palette. I honestly don't think I've really ever used these. They're pretty much all in good shape. So I might see if one of my friends wants these. Next up, I have a Juvia's Place palettes. First up, I have the Saharan palette, which is this one right here. I have the Nubian palette, which is a great neutral palette. These formulas are really, really good too. I have the Saharan 2 palette by Juvius. I have the Zulu palette. This is by far my favorite one of all of them. I have the Nubian 2. I have the Magic Palette, which is this one right here. And I have the Masquerade Palette by Juvia's Place. Next, I have this Lorac Pro. This is the original Lorac Pro Palette. This one right here. It's a lot of just really neutral colors. Um, I don't use this one a lot, so I might think about giving this one to a friend if they want to try something out. So yeah, I'm gonna add that to my pile. I don't even really know where you can get Lorac anymore. Like I haven't seen them in Ulta for a long time. Um, so I don't really know if that's still a thing that people, you know, can buy. This is the Cat's Pajamas palette by Laura Lee, Los Angeles. Really pretty packaging. I don't really watch her channel much anymore, but from what I remember, this was a pretty great palette. I haven't used it a whole lot. Um, so I'm probably going to hang on to it just because it is a Laura Lee product. I have one of my favorite palettes of all time. This is the Hut Up Beauty Rose Gold Palette, a textured shadow palette. It's a great one. Um, they did reformulate this and like come out with a new one. I don't think you can get this specific one anymore. But I'm going to keep this because this was amazing. Next I have this Graveyard Girl Tarte Swamp Queen palette. And clearly I have barely used this palette. I'm pretty much keeping it because it is a limited edition product. Graveyard Girl, but I don't really see myself using this a whole lot, so I might think about this one. This is a maybe. I have the Tardist Pro palette right here. Not a whole lot to say about that. I have the Violet Voss Pro. This is the Holy Grail eyeshadow palette, and I clearly haven't used this. Um, I haven't reached for this pretty much at all. I just used one color I think in it and I might have just swatched it. So I may see if my little sister wants this palette. Next I have the Violet Boss X Laura Lee palette right here. This was actually my go-to palette for a really long time. Still a great palette. I'm gonna hang on to that. Next up from Jeffree Star Cosmetics I have four palettes. I have the Alien palette right here. This one is a really, really great one. It's really unique, I think. I don't have a whole lot of palettes with these colors, with these greens, the grays, the dark, deep, mossy greens. So I'm gonna definitely keep this. Next, I have the Beauty Killer palette, which is this one right here. This was Jeffree Star's first eyeshadow palette ever, and it was one that I used for a very long time as well, and I'm gonna keep that. Next, I have the Thirsty Palette right here, very gorgeous. And I have the Blood Sugar Palette here as well. This is also a great palette. I really want the Blue Blood Palette as well. So hopefully I get that eventually. I have one of my drugstore palettes or one of my few drugstore palettes. This is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. It's great for body painting and really great if you are on a budget but want those really bright, intense colors. I have the Pure Sore Diaries. This literally has its film still attached. I haven't used this at all. I'm gonna give this away to a friend. Next, I have another limited edition palette. This is the Too Faced Nikki Tutorials palette. This one was highly controversial because it's not a very good palette. And Too Faced got in a lot of trouble for this, I think. But I love Nikki Tutorials, so I'm going to keep this. Next, oh, this was like probably one of my highlight purchases in makeup. This is the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. My favorite Den Natasha Denona palette. 
it looks just like this it's absolutely gorgeous and these are my favorite colors to wear as well so keeping that next I have the naked two palette from urban decay this is a palette that I don't think you can even buy anymore um, I used to have two of them and I gave one to my sister I think and I might see if one of my friends wants this one I have the urban decay and Gwen Stefani collab I literally have never used this I maybe swatched one of them, but this is not a palette that I reach for at all. Um, so I probably am gonna give this away as well. Next, I have from Ace Butte uh, or Beauty Butte. I don't know. Can someone tell me if this is Butte or Beauty? Honestly, I have no idea. It's the Grandiose palette. It is actually so pretty, and I really, really want to try some looks with it. So I am going to keep this from Urban Decay. I have the Electrics palette. This is actually a pigment palette and I use it a lot during Halloween, so I'm definitely keeping that. From Crown Pro, I have this palette right here. Another warm tone palette. Can you see a trend? I am giving this one away. Next, another limited edition one that I actually was super excited to get. This is the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. It's actually really, really gorgeous packaging. That's one thing that Urban Decay does really well is their packaging. What it says right here, it's really, really pretty. Um, and then when you open up these flaps, there is a butterfly inside. That's so cute. And then this is what the palette itself looks like. I really should use this more than I do, but I really just haven't ever reached for it because it's such a, like, this is not, like, easy packaging to handle. It's big. Um, but... I'll probably try to do a little bit more with it in the future, but I'm definitely keeping this. I have my smaller palettes. I keep them in my drawers in my little container unit. Um, but let's go through some of my eyeshadow palettes, and then I also have a lot of face palettes to show you guys. From Too Faced, I have these three little palettes here. I honestly have never really used these much. I got a little dig out of this one. But this is what this one looks like, the black palette. Then we have the green palette that looks like this. Which these are super wearable colors, but I just don't see myself using these. And this is the pink one here. So I'm going to see if friends would like these. I have a BoxyCharm X Winky Lux Kitten palette. Literally have never used this. Probably should try. I just know I have these colors in my collection elsewhere, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I have the Aftershock Bad Habit Palette. This is, I believe, I believe this is like a, I have no idea where this came from actually, but it's really pretty and the pigment is really intense in these, so I'm gonna keep this one. I have the She Dreamed, She Believed, She Succeeded palette from Tarte Cosmetics. It's a little blush and then some nice neutral shades. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep this one. I've used it pretty, I've used it a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I have the Tarte Linen Bloom palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. You'll see that I dropped it and there's a shade missing. But this is one of my favorite palettes of all time. I use this a lot during spring. Next, I have the Real Her One Shadow Palette Be Your Own Kind of Beauty. I have never used this, so I'm going to give that one away. Next, I have the Totally Cute Palette from Too Faced. This one was so fun because you had to put your own stickers on it. This is what it looks like. I haven't used it a lot, but I'm going to keep it because that does have that custom factor. I have the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. This one is one that I use a lot and it's really dented and like I don't think you can see how much I've used it but I've used this one a lot. Next from Visart, this is the Theory palette, the Theory 2 palette. And this is what it looks like. Visart shadows are amazing so I'm definitely going to keep this. I have this Blink Bakhti Charm Electric Eyes palette. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one as well as I have literally never used it. Next I have my Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. I haven't used this a whole lot as of lately but it is an amazing contour palette so I'm gonna keep that. 
I have this Ofra Pro palette filled with some Ofra single eyeshadows as well as some Makeup Geek single eyeshadows. Um, I have Sorbet from Makeup Geek and I have Roulette. So I'm going to keep these for sure and I want to get more single eyeshadows as well. And then finally from this one I have the Alamar Cosmetics Raina Del Caribe palette. This is an amazing palette. If you haven't tried this, definitely check it out. I have the Manny MUA X Makeup Geek palette. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. That's also a limited edition one. You know, I love them so... Yeah. So we've made it through all of my eyeshadow palettes, but now I have some face palettes to check out. First two that I have here are from Sleek Makeup. They are highlighting palettes. This is what they look like. These are the ones that went like really viral a couple years ago. They're just really, really popular, really good highlights. So I'm going to keep those. I am actually sweating. Next, I have a small Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. This is something that I use for my brows when I run out of brow product, so I'm going to keep that. I have the Becca X Jaclyn Hill palette right here. Gorgeous stuff. This is what this one looks like. It has Prosecco pop, Champagne pop, and then three blushes in there. Keeping that, obviously. I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit which is this one right here. I have my MAC Studio, I have my MAC Studio Face Sculpt Palette. This is what it looks like here. I dug a little bit out of that one on accident, but I'm keeping it. Next, I have five glow kits from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I have Moon Child, which is this one right here. Some great purpley shades. I've got Aurora, which has peachy purple blue. I have Gleam, which I believe was one of the first palettes they came out with for glow kits. I have That Glow, which is this one right here. And I have Sweets, which is this one right here. Next, I have a cream contour palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is something I use on clients, not myself, so I'm keeping that. I have the lip palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Clearly there's a trend. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have a Morphe blush palette. This is actually a really gorgeous blush palette that I love a lot, so I'm going to keep that. I believe it has new packaging now. And this is my Smashbox cheek palette. I use this one a lot on clients too. Gorgeous cheek palette here. I believe it was a holiday um, palette that came out one year. And then this palette is super special to me. This is by Terry. However, um, this is a palette that I got to make in Paris with my sister and my mom. Um, these are the... Uh, the shadows that I chose. I liked the orange and the pink and the shimmery shade all put together so I love this a lot and I will keep that literally forever. <laughs> the last palette I have in here is from Benefit Cosmetics. This is the Real Cheeky Party. Now this is really old I will tell you but I am going to keep it until I get the individual items in the palette um, in my collection itself. It smells really good too, um, but I, so I'm going to keep that until I get Hoola and Dandelion and those kind of products in my actual collection. That's all of my palettes swatched. I decluttered some of them. I actually decluttered more than I thought. I did to end up decluttering 14 palettes, so that's really good. It brings me down to 70, which is a little bit better than 84. <laughs> But I am really happy with the declutter that happened today. There's obviously more pal palettes I'm going to get in the future. So keep an eye out for videos on those. I am literally sweating my makeup off my face right now. I hope you guys really liked this video. Don't worry, there's still more in my declutter series. If you haven't seen the rest of it, click the links down below. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.